Renters are in a very hard place right now, with many squeezed between no or reduced work and rent that's due every month. Homeowners got up to 12 months of forbearance on mortgage payments through the CARES Act. But what help can renters get? Hi everyone, I'm Jordan Goodman, America's Money Answers Man, and I'm here to help you understand what your options are if you're struggling to pay your rent. Renters in federally subsidized housing had some protection against eviction under the CARES Act, but that ended July 24th. The CARES Act did not provide subsidies to help affected renters actually pay their rent. When the moratorium ended, the rent was due in full. Hard to pay several months rent all at once if you couldn't even afford to pay one month. The Trump administration and Centers for Disease Control issued a new eviction moratorium effective September 4th that runs through December 31st that may help you avoid eviction. The moratorium requires you meet five conditions to qualify. First, you need to be able to show that you've made your best efforts to obtain all forms of government rent assistance. Second, you must earn less than $99,000 in 2020 if filing singly, or less than $198,000 if filing a joint tax return. Third, you must be experiencing a substantial lack of household income or extraordinary out-of-pocket medical expenses. Fourth, you must continue to make your best efforts to make at least partial payments as close as you can to the full payment due. And fifth, you must show that eviction would likely lead to you becoming homeless. If you meet the five qualifying conditions, give your landlord a copy of the CDC's declaration form to establish your coverage under the new moratorium. Make sure to get proof that your landlord received the declaration. Every adult on the lease needs to provide the landlord with a declaration. A declaration is a sworn testimony on your part, meaning you can be prosecuted if you falsify any of the information. The new moratorium does not apply to anyone living in short-term rentals, such as hotels, motels, or Airbnbs. Do an exhaustive search for every and all kinds of government rental assistance before you submit your declaration. Document every call and email so you can prove you've exhausted all options. Search the National Council of State Housing Agencies website to see what your state offers. Call HUD to get connected with a HUD-approved housing counselor in your area who can offer advice on housing options. Try to communicate honestly and frankly with your landlord about what you're going through. Good communication can sometimes buy you the time you need to start paying rent again, at least partially. These are tough times and you're not alone in the struggle. Landlords, especially small landlords, are struggling just as much to pay their mortgages and bills. Use partial payments and federal regulations to forestall eviction to help you make it through this crisis. Thank you.